Well, things are getting colorful in Gordon Square. Over the past few weeks, several murals have appeared on buildings throughout the neighborhood's arts district. Uh, Dawn Kendrick caught up with some of the artists before the paint was even dry. Bright colors are flowing as eight murals take shape in Gordon Square. It's great to be a part of this, this new, like, I, I, I guess I could call it like a little facelift, <laughs> so to speak. This is the first time Cleveland artist Darius Stewart used spray paint instead of a brush. Stewart wanted his mural to depict struggle and being pulled back to reality. I didn't want to come here and just make a piece that looked nice. I wanted to make a piece that still had an impact as well as revitalize the neighborhood. The public art really rallies people around having pride in their neighborhood. They're able to point to something and say, this is something that I'm part of. Eileen Dorsey has her artist studio in Gordon Square and helped paint this mural called More Heart Than Art. Even though I don't live here, I've always felt like I was part of the neighborhood, so now everyone can see that. <laughs> it's such a different experience than painting on a canvas. Baltimore artist duo Jesse and Katie are painting the largest mural here, meant to welcome people to the Arts District. We're not exactly telling a story with the mural, but it's just a big splash that hopefully everybody else can kind of appreciate and take away what they want from it. There's a lot of like shapes, colors, and fluid lines, and like, I don't know, we really strive for like balance and craziness all at the same time in our work. All of these murals should be finished by the end of May, with artists happy that they were able to leave their mark on this up-and-coming, thriving neighborhood. I'm Don Kendrick, Channel 3 News.